Lingro is an amazing vocabulary tool that turns digital text into a clickable dictionary. It works on web pages, Word documents, PDF files, and just about any text file you can imagine. Even better, it translate the, translates those documents into at least 12 different languages. Let's learn how to use it. The first thing we need to do is to install a browser plugin in our bookmarks toolbar. So go ahead and click on browser plugins. What this does is it enables us to use the tool without opening the Lingro web page. And believe me, you're going to want to use this tool. So, scroll to the bottom of the page until you find bookmarklets, and then you find the yellow bookmarklet that says Lingro This Page. You'll need to find the yellow bookmarklet that says Lingro This Page, and we're going to drag it to the top of the, to the bookmarks toolbar, right there, and let go. We're going to see it say Lingro This Page. Now please note, this isn't the same as just bookmarking a page. This Lingro bookmarklet has capabilities built into it, and this is what we need to do. So once that Lingro bookmarklet is on your page, you can go ahead and start using the tool. If you missed something when you were trying to install that, remember you can stop this tutorial at any time. Now it's time to find a web page. So I'm just going to go to my blog, right here, and pull it up. And here you can see my blog. In a minute, uh, we're going to pop this tool into Lingro, and I just wanted to show you that it's going to look exactly the same once we do that. So, I go to my bookmarklet and I click on Lingro this page. And after a minute, uh, or hopefully less, you can see that now it says Lingro at the top of the page, but my blog is still intact. This is exactly what we want to see. So we're going to go ahead and define one of the words. Uh, what we need to do right here is just click on the word that we're interested in defining. So let me just choose the word students. Just click on the word and a dictionary opens up as you can see. Now it's got a lot of features here. Right here you can see I'm translating from English to English, but if you speak another language you can see you can change that very easily as long as you know your flags. You can change it the from and the to. But I'm going to stick with English for now. Uh, you can see that here, you can hear it. It's a pretty nice pronunciation. And then it gives you all the different definitions of the word. Now there's one more thing. I can add it to my word list. Even if I don't have an account, I can make a word list. And when I'm done reading this whole article, it will show me all the words that I asked for definitions for. A better way to do this, of course, is to sign up for an account. It's free, and then your word lists are stored, and you can sort them according to categories. But um, I think the biggest advantage of this tool is just being able to read through it, find a word that you don't know, and look it up in the dictionary. So I think we'll try regular, and here you can see regular. Regular. And I just go all the way through my document getting the support that I need. Now, if for some reason you don't choose to put the bookmark, uh, install the bookmarklet bar, you can just try Lingro yourself by going to the website, and I'll show you that real quickly. Um, when I'm on the regular Lingro website, if you choose not to do the toolbar, you can just type the website in right here. And The same exact thing happens. You can translate over here. It's just that every time you want to use the tool, you have to remember to go to Lingro. So it is better to have the bookmarklet on there. Um, so try this tool. I think you're really going to enjoy it.